In the deepest silence of the night, when shadows stretch and the world holds its breath, there's a sacred hour that waits for the restless, the worried, and the weary. It's 3 a.m., an hour when many are lost in their dreams, yet some find themselves startlingly awake. Have you ever wondered why you wake up at this hour? Is it just insomnia? Or could it be something more? Something divine calling you? Imagine this. It's 3 a.m. And while the uh, rest of the house sleeps, something stirs within you. A thought, a whisper, a nudge. It's not just your own consciousness. It feels like a call to something greater. A moment reserved just for you to connect, to reflect, to pray. This isn't about ordinary prayer. It's about an extraordinary connection that only happens in the stillness of these early hours. This time, there's no rush, no noise, only the silent echo of your heartbeat and the presence that whispers through the quiet. Here, in the solitude of 3 a.m., many have found answers whispered back, burdens lifted, and spirits renewed. It's not just another hour, it's a divine appointment. So join me as we explore the five miraculous things that happen only when you pray at 3 a.m. Discover how this quiet hour can transform your life, one prayer at a time. Are you ready to answer the call? Wonder. A time of unmatched serenity and connection with God. Let me tell you about Sarah, a middle-aged teacher from Ohio, who discovered the miraculous power of prayer at 3 a.m. during one of the toughest periods of her life. Sarah had always been a pillar in her community, teaching, volunteering, and caring for her family. But when her husband was diagnosed with a chronic illness, the foundations of her world began to tremble. It was during these dark days that Sarah found herself waking up night after night at 3 a.m., her mind racing with fear and uncertainty about the future. One night, feeling overwhelmed and unable to sleep, she decided to kneel beside her bed and pray. As Sarah whispered her fears and hopes to God, something remarkable happened. The overwhelming anxiety that had gripped her heart began to ease. The stillness of the night seemed to wrap around her, comforting her in its quiet embrace. Night after night, Sarah returned to that spot at 3 a.m., each time leaving her worries in the hands of God. And though her circumstances didn't change overnight, her ability to cope transformed entirely. She found strength she didn't know she had and a peace that surpassed all understanding, a peace that she firmly believes was answered prayer. This 3 a.m. ritual became her sanctuary, a place and time where Sarah could connect with God without barriers. It was there, in the depth of night, that she learned the true meaning of Philippians 4.7 and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Sarah's story is a powerful testament to the solace and strength that can be found in those quiet moments of early morning prayer. It's a reminder that sometimes the most profound connections are made when the world is silent. In the silence of early morning, when the rest of the world is still asleep, there's a profound spiritual significance that many believers find uniquely powerful. It's a time when distractions are minimal, allowing for a deeper, more focused communication with God. This period before dawn, often referred to as the Watch of the Lord, is considered by many as a sacred time for spiritual reflection and prayer. Scripturally, we see numerous instances where Jesus himself rose early to pray, seeking solitude and connection with the Father. This practice is not just about tradition. It's about the quality of the silence and stillness that 3 a.m. offers, a time when prayers can feel more direct, more intimate, and even more urgent. It's as if in these quiet hours, the barrier between the divine and the earthly thins, allowing prayers to ascend unhindered. This special time can lead to profound spiritual insights and a renewed sense of peace, making it a cherished ritual for those who experience it.
As this peace envelops our hearts, it often clears the way for something even more profound, direct guidance from God. Let's explore how these early morning prayers can become a conduit for divine direction and clarity in our lives. Consider the story of Michael, a small business owner from Texas, whose life took an unexpected turn during one of his early morning prayer sessions. Michael had been struggling with a decision about whether to expand his business, which was both a financial and a personal risk. One particular morning at 3 a.m., feeling uncertain and seeking divine guidance, Michael knelt down in his living room. With his family asleep, he poured out his heart to God, asking for a clear sign to guide his decision. The room was silent, the kind of silence that feels full, almost palpable, as if waiting for something momentous. As Michael prayed, he felt a profound sense of calm descend upon him. It was then, in the stillness of that early hour, that a passage from Isaiah came to mind. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. This scripture, which he had read many times before, suddenly resonated with a new, deeper meaning. Filled with renewed confidence and a sense of divine assurance, Michael made the decision to expand his business. The expansion was not only successful, but also brought significant growth and new opportunities that he'd never anticipated. Michael credits that early morning prayer for his courage to move forward. It was a moment of clarity that changed the course of his life, proving that sometimes the answers we seek are just a prayer away, especially in the quiet solitude of 3 a.m. In moments of uncertainty, the Bible offers profound assurances of God's guidance. Scriptures like Proverbs 3, 5, 6 encourage us saying, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. This promise is a cornerstone for those seeking direction through prayer. Similarly, James 1, 5 teaches us that if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. These words remind us that in the quiet of the early morning when we ask with a sincere heart, God's wisdom is freely given, guiding us through the complexities of life. Armed with these scriptures, believers can confidently seek God's voice during their 3 a.m. prayers, knowing that His guidance is but a prayer away. With divine guidance often comes a profound inner strength, a renewal that fortifies our spirit. Next, let's explore how these early morning prayers not only guide us, but also rejuvenate our soul, giving us the strength to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Praying at 3 a.m. can be a deeply invigorating experience, often serving as a spiritual renewal that refreshes both mind and spirit. In these quiet hours, free from the distractions of daily life, your focus can intensify and your heart can align more closely with God's will. This alignment isn't just about seeking answers. It's about replenishing your spiritual energy. Imagine it as a moment of recharging where the silence of the night acts as a canvas for God's words to paint new strength into your life. Here, enveloped in peace, believers find themselves more open to receiving the Holy Spirit's renewal, which empowers them to tackle life's obstacles with a renewed sense of purpose and hope. This rejuvenation is one of the profound gifts of dedicating time to pray at such a mystical hour. Let's delve into the story of Emma, a retired nurse from North Carolina who found an unexpected resurgence of energy and faith through her 3 a.m. prayer routine. After retiring, Emma struggled with a sense of purposelessness and a waning spiritual zeal. It was during this low point that she decided to dedicate her early mornings to prayer, seeking solace and renewal. Emma began waking at 3 a.m., a time she chose because of its peacefulness. Each morning, as the world around her slept, she sat in her quiet living room, Bible in hand, 
praying for guidance, strength, and a renewed sense of purpose. Slowly, these sessions became more than just a routine. They transformed into a lifeline, reconnecting her with her faith and vitality. Over the weeks, Emma noticed a change. Not only did her days start with more vigor, but her faith also deepened. She found herself volunteering again, engaging with community projects and feeling a zest for life that she thought had faded with her career. Emma's mornings of prayer at 3 a.m. had ignited a spark within her, filling her with a strength and enthusiasm she hadn't felt in years. Her renewed energy was not just a personal victory, but an inspiration to those around her. Emma often shares how these early morning prayers not only transformed her spirit, but also restored her belief in the power of faith to renew and invigorate life at any stage. Emma's story is a beautiful testament to how the discipline of early morning prayer can bring about a profound and joyful renewal of both spirit and daily life. As Emma discovered, with renewed strength and invigorated spirit often come unexpected opportunities. Now, let's explore how these new doors can open, revealing paths and possibilities we might never have imagined, all through the discipline of prayer at 3 a.m. Meet Jonathan, a once struggling artist from Seattle, whose life took a remarkable turn thanks to his dedication to early morning prayers. Jonathan had faced years of challenges trying to make a name for himself in the competitive world of art, often feeling discouraged and on the brink of giving up. Desperate for a breakthrough, Jonathan started waking up at 3 a.m. to pray, seeking not just success, but a clearer understanding of his path and purpose. These sessions were his moments of solitude where he poured out his heart, asking for guidance and opportunities to showcase his talent. One morning, after months of these earnest prayers, Jonathan received an unexpected email. A local gallery, intrigued by the unique style they'd seen in a few of his shared online pieces, offered him a chance to exhibit his work. This opportunity seemed to come out of nowhere, aligning perfectly with the timing of his prayers. The exhibition was more than just a success. It was a turning point. His art resonated with attendees, leading to more offers, more exhibitions, and eventually national recognition. Jonathan credits his 3 a.m. prayers, not just for the success, but for the courage and faith to continue in his darkest hours. Jonathan's story is a testament to how the quiet, determined prayers in the early hours can open doors that seemed forever closed. His journey illustrates the miraculous way opportunities can unfold, aligning our deepest hopes with God's perfect timing. In the stillness of the early morning, those who seek God with a sincere heart find not only peace, but also the promise of His presence. Scripture tells us, draw near to God and He will draw near to you. This principle holds true for those like Jonathan, who dedicate their quietest hours to communion with the divine. God honors the dedication of seeking Him during these quiet hours. It's a sacred time when the distractions of the world fall away, allowing for a deeper, more intimate dialogue with our Creator. The commitment, rise early and seek God's face, is met with blessings and opportunities, as if God Himself is responding to the persistence and faith of His followers. This divine acknowledgement is not just about answering prayers, but about deepening our relationship with God, nurturing our faith with every heartfelt prayer. With these new doors opening, not only do we see the unfolding of divine plans, but often they pave the way for deep emotional healing. Next, let's explore how these moments of answered prayers can bring profound personal transformation and emotional release. Consider the story of Grace, a teacher from Atlanta, who found significant emotional healing through her prayers at 3 a.m. Grace had been carrying the weight of grief for years after the loss of her husband. Though time had passed, the depth of her sorrow seemed just as intense, and the quiet nights were the hardest. One night, overwhelmed by loneliness, 
Grace turned to prayer at 3 a.m., not just as a ritual, but as a desperate cry for comfort and healing. As she spoke her pain aloud, the solitude of the hour seemed to embrace her, not with answers, but with presence. Night after night, Grace met with God at this early hour. With each prayer, she began to feel a lifting of her grief. It wasn't instantaneous, but gradually, the overwhelming sadness gave way to memories filled with joy rather than pain. It was during one such prayer session that Grace felt a profound sense of release. Tears flowed, not from sorrow, but from a deep place of healing. She realized that while her loss was permanent, the strength and comfort she gained from these sessions brought a new morning to her life. Grace's journey of healing at 3 a.m. is a powerful testament to how God not only hears our prayers, but also cradles our broken hearts. Through the quiet communion of those early hours, she found not just solace, but a path to emotional restoration and renewed joy in life. If you, like Grace, are carrying burdens that seem too heavy, consider the profound solitude of 3 a.m. as a sacred time for healing. In these quiet hours, you can speak your deepest fears and sorrows to God without interruption, without judgment. This time is for you to confront, to challenge, and to ultimately heal from your personal grief or the hurdles that life throws your way. Embrace this time as your private sanctuary, where you can lay down your burdens and find renewal in God's unwavering presence. Let the peace of these early hours infuse your spirit, transform your pain, and guide you toward a path of healing and strength. Remember, you are not alone in your journey. God is always listening. As we transition towards the end of our time together, let's reflect on the insights shared and the stories heard. These moments of inspiration and reflection pave the way for deeper connection with the divine. So, as we move forward, let's carry the spirit of hope and renewal with us. Now, let's prepare our hearts for the concluding prayer where we'll seek God's blessings and guidance for the journey ahead. Stay with us as we draw near to the close of our time together, embracing the peace and presence of the divine. Let us pray. Lord, as I kneel before you in the stillness of this early hour, I come to you with a heart heavy with burdens. I acknowledge my vulnerability, my fears, and my uncertainties. In this quiet moment, I lay bare my soul before you, trusting in your infinite mercy and grace to sustain me. I confess the weight of my worries, the anxieties that keep me awake at night, and the doubts that cloud my mind. I am but a fragile creature, navigating through the complexities of life with faltering steps. Yet, in my weakness, I find strength in knowing that you are the ever-present anchor in the storm. In the silence of this sacred hour, I release my grip on control and surrender to your divine providence. I relinquish the illusion of self-sufficiency and humbly acknowledge my need for you. For it is in acknowledging my vulnerability that I find the courage to trust in your unfailing love and provision. As I pour out my heart before you, may your presence envelop me like a comforting embrace soothing the ache of my soul and filling me with a sense of peace that transcends understanding. Help me, O Lord, to find solace in your presence and strength in your promises, knowing that you are always near to the brokenhearted. In this moment of vulnerability, I find refuge in you, my rock and my redeemer. May your grace sustain me through the trials of life and may your love be the anchor that steadies my wavering faith. Heavenly Father, as the world slumbers and the darkness envelops me, I come before you with a heart open and ready to receive your guidance. I surrender my will to yours, knowing that your plans for me far surpass my understanding. In this moment of surrender, I let go of my desires, my ambitions, and my fears. Trusting in your divine wisdom, to lead me along the path that you have ordained for me. Help me to relinquish control and to embrace your will with humility and faith. Lord, when the storms of life rage around me and the future appears uncertain, 
Remind me that your hand is always guiding me, even when I cannot see the way ahead. Give me the courage to trust in your timing, knowing that your plans for me are good and that you are working all things together for my ultimate good. Help me, O Lord, to walk in obedience to your will, even when it leads me down paths that are unfamiliar or challenging. Give me the strength to follow where you lead and the grace to accept your will with joy and gratitude. In this sacred hour of surrender, I find peace in knowing that you are in control and that your love for me is steadfast and unchanging. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your constant presence in my life. May your will be done in me and through me now and always. Lord, in the darkness of this hour, I come before you with a heart open to your guidance and direction. I seek your wisdom and insight that I may discern your will for my life and follow your path with clarity and confidence. As I bow before you in prayer, I ask for your light to shine brightly in the midst of my confusion and doubt. Illuminate the way before me, O Lord, that I may walk in the footsteps of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Help me to discern your voice amidst the noise of the world and to follow your leading with unwavering faith. Guide me in the decisions I must make, both big and small, that I may honor you in all that I do. Lord, grant me the patience to wait upon you, knowing that your timing is perfect and your plans are for my good. Give me the courage to step out in faith when you call me to, and the humility to submit to your will, even when it may not align with my own desires. In this sacred hour of seeking, I place my trust in you, knowing that you are the source of all wisdom and understanding. May your spirit guide me in the paths of righteousness, and may your word be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your steadfast love. May I walk in your ways all the days of my life, seeking your guidance and direction in all that I do. Amen. Gracious God, in the quiet of this moment, I come to you seeking comfort and peace for my troubled soul. The burdens of life weigh heavily upon me, and I long for the soothing balm of your presence to calm my restless heart. As I bow before you in prayer, I find solace in knowing that you are the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles. Wrap your loving arms around me, O Lord, and fill me with your peace that surpasses all understanding. In the stillness of this sacred hour, let your presence be a refuge for my weary soul, a sanctuary where I can find rest from the storms of life. Quiet the anxious thoughts that race through my mind and replace them with the assurance of your unfailing love. Lord, help me to cast all my cares upon you, knowing that you care for me with a love that knows no bounds. Let your peace reign in my heart, driving out fear and anxiety and filling me with a sense of calm and serenity that can only come from you. In this moment of quiet contemplation, I find strength in your presence and hope in your promises. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your enduring love. May your peace, which transcends all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus now and always. Heavenly Father, as the world slumbers and the night surrounds me, I lift my voice in gratitude and praise to you. Despite the challenges and uncertainties that I face, I am grateful for your steadfast love and faithfulness that never wavers. In this sacred hour of prayer, I choose to focus on your goodness and mercy. Rather than dwelling on my troubles, I thank you for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon me, both seen and unseen, and for the gift of life itself. Lord, in the midst of darkness, I hold on to the hope that you alone can provide. I trust in your promises to never leave me, nor forsake me, and to work all things together for my good. Help me to cling to this hope, even when circumstances seem bleak. As the first light of dawn begins to break through the darkness, I am reminded of your faithfulness and your power to bring beauty from ashes. May this new day be a testament to your grace and your love as I walk in the light of your presence. 
Thank you, Lord, for your unending mercy and your boundless grace. May my heart overflow with gratitude and hope, even in the darkest of times. May I never lose sight of your goodness, and may your love be my guiding light now and forevermore. Amen. As we close today's exploration of the miraculous things that can happen when you pray at 3 a.m. in prayer, I encourage you to consider making this practice a part of your own spiritual journey. Whether you're seeking guidance, strength, opportunities, or healing, the early morning hours offer a unique moment to connect deeply with God. If you felt inspired by the stories shared today, why not try this for yourself? Set the alarm, rise before the sun, and spend some quiet time in prayer. See what miracles might unfold in your life. And if you do, please share your experiences with us. Your story could be the one that inspires someone else to find their own path to healing and renewal. Don't forget to like this video if you found it uplifting and subscribe to our channel for more content that seeks to enrich your spiritual life. Hit the bell icon to get notifications about our latest videos so you never miss out on our community's journey of faith and discovery. Let me leave you with this blessing. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and your minds as you seek Him in the quiet hours of the morning. May you find in this sacred time the strength, guidance, and healing you need. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Keep seeking, keep praying, and remember, the most profound moments often come in the quietest hours. God bless you all, and see you in the next video.